What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a DJ crossfade effect in Reason with a free rack extension device. And let's go ahead and just pull that up right now. It is made by Groovy Melon. It's called Morphin XF Crossfader. Now, I'm also going to add a, I think, a mix channel. Let's see if that would work on the back of this. Yes, that would work. We'll add a mix channel to this. Drag this up above, and let's hear these two separate samples separately. All right, that's the first one. This is the second one. Just something for an example. Um, let's go ahead and route these. I'm going to hit this drop down. going to take our direct output and put it into this first input section here we have on the Morphin. Do the same thing for the second sample. Put that right here, all right? Now, if I am over here to the far left, let's test this out, see if we have everything working. Now the crossfade is working and we do have different crossfade options over here that we can use. Of course, you choose two samples that sound good crossfading. And you can choose different types. There are up to four inputs on this plugin right here or this rack extension. So you can add other samples. However, you would need to select which inputs you are crossfading in between using these selector knobs right here. Now for this one, of course, it's A and this one is B because those are the inputs that we are using. You can turn down the volume of each sample input separately on here. Or of course, you can use their respective knobs or you can do it in the sequencer, whereas you would just turn down the gain level. So if you like this video, definitely let me know. Let me know what you would like to see next. Also, it's all culture, kickback and cook up. See you tomorrow.